Good morning, everyone. I'm really glad you could join us for the reading of our daily devotionals for Sunday, October 10th, 2021. Let's start with Sarah Young's book, Jesus Calling. Here we go. Trust me enough to let things happen without striving to predict or control them. Relax and refresh yourself in the light of my everlasting love. My love light never dims, yet you are often unaware of my radiant presence. When you project yourself into the future, rehearsing what you will do or say, you are seeking to be self-sufficient, to be adequate without my help. This is a subtle sin, so common that it usually slips by unnoticed. The alternative is to live fully in the present, depending on me each moment. Rather than fearing your inadequacy, rejoice in my abundant supply. Train your mind to seek my help continually, even when you feel competent to handle something by yourself. Don't divide your life into things you can do by yourself and things that require my help. Instead, learn to rely on me in every situation. This discipline will enable you to enjoy life more and to face each day confidently. That was taken from the books of Psalm and Philippians. Next is David Jeremiah's book, Strength for Today, for October 10th. The lesson is entitled, Man's Plans versus God's Plans. The scripture is from the book of Daniel, chapter 11, verse 2. And now I will tell you the truth. Behold, three more kings will arise in Persia, and the fourth shall be far richer than them all. By his strength, through his riches, he shall stir up all against the realm of Greece. Perhaps nothing raises as many questions in the life of a Christian as matters of God's timing, especially regarding answers to prayer. We have our ideas of when things should happen, only to discover that God's ways are not our ways. Our faith is then challenged to conform our understanding to his revealed plans. Even godly believers like Daniel wrestled with God's timing. After he discovered that the Jews' captivity would last 70 years, Daniel probably believed that all the Jews would soon be back in Judea rebuilding the temple and Jerusalem. And some did return, but the process of rebuilding was difficult. So God sent an angel to Daniel to explain that the next several hundred years were going to be complicated. Daniel had to adjust his plans to God's larger purpose. We must do the same. When things don't happen on our schedule or to our expectations, we must submit our plans to God's and walk by faith. And finally, from Sarah Young's book, Jesus Always,
There are four scriptures which accompany the reading. The first is from the book of Acts, chapter 10, verse 43. All the prophets say it is true that all who believe in Jesus will be forgiven of their sins through Jesus' name. Also from the book of 2 Corinthians, chapter 10, verse 5. We demolish arguments and every pretension that sets itself up against the knowledge of God. And we take captive every thought to make it obedient to Christ. Also from the book of Hebrews, chapter 3, verse 1. Therefore, holy brothers, who share in the heavenly calling, fix your thoughts on Jesus, the Apostle and High Priest, whom we confess. And finally, from the book of Psalm, chapter 37, verse 4. Delight yourself in the Lord, and he will give you the desires of your heart. And now the reading. A troublesome problem can become an idol in your mind. If you consistently think about something, pleasant or unpleasant, more than you think about me, you are practicing a subtle form of idolatry. So it is wise to examine your thoughts. Most people view idols as things that bring pleasure, but a chronic difficulty can captivate your mind, taking over increasingly more of your mental activity. Becoming aware of this bondage is a huge step toward breaking free from it. When you find yourself dwelling on a persistent problem, bring it to me and confess the mental bondage you're experiencing. Request my help and my forgiveness, which I freely give. I will help you take captive every thought to make it obedient to me. I am teaching you to fix your thoughts on me more and more. To achieve this goal, you need both discipline and desire. It's vital that you find pleasure in thinking of me, rejoicing in my loving presence. Delight yourself in me, beloved. Make me the desire of your heart. We're so glad you could join us for the reading of our daily devotionals. It's another Sunday in October. It's getting cold in the mornings. Had to turn the heater on this last week. Halloween's coming up and Thanksgiving and before you know it it'll be Christmas time. We have a lot to be thankful for and I'm thankful that you could be here. I hope you have a great day and a wonderful week coming up. May God bless you all. <laughs>